people of the internet, my name is Johnny. Welcome, finally, to the Johnny Blocks 2022 Room Tour slash FNAF merchandise collection video. This has been a long time coming, but finally, it is time. I've been in the process of reorganizing everything in the office, and it's finally, finally finished. I'm super, super happy with how it is right now, and I think you guys will enjoy it too. Also, if I sound sniffly or just off in any way with my voice, it's because turns out dusting an entire room with a, a, you know, a crap ton of stuff and moving it from room to room gets you a bit sniffly. You know, there's a lot of dust everywhere. There's so many shelves I needed to clean. But without further ado, let's start the room tour. If you are excited, hit the like button. If you're brand new, subscribe. And let's walk out this door and let's enter the proper way. So entering the office, as we can see, this is the Johnny Blocks office. Look at those monitors. Last year we started on this side of the office and why don't we do the same thing this year? So you enter the door, take a left, and as you can see this is the first shelf and you got some wall shelves over here. This is my FNAF AR 2022 calendar. As you can see for October we have Jacko Chica. Let's lift up this Vanessa keychain. There she is. On these wall shelves up here, you got the classic Funko plushies of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. You also have the two Tales from the Pizza Plex books released right now. As you can see, Lally's Game and up there, Haps. You got some FNAF AR figures, Livewire Toy Freddy, uh, Liberty Chica, Shamrock Freddy, and Frost Bear right up here. And then just some random Monty mystery minis that I didn't really have a good place for. If you watched the last room tour, this shelf has gotten a massive overhaul. So so this shelf acts as the bookshelf. Up top you have the 2020 restocks of the Sanshi plushies. I have all of them except for the Fredbear plushie. Then I have some of the, I believe these are Hero World figures of Foxy, Chica, Bonnie, Funtime Foxy, Yendo, Phantom Foxy, Springtrap, Freddy, and another Foxy. This section of the shelf, as you can see, this is actually very, very interesting because this is the graphic novel for the Silver Eyes, but it actually is not fully colored nor illustrated. As you can see, this is official. This is a unreleased copy, uncorrected proof, not for sale, uh, that I was able to get my hands on thanks to my good pal Deepest. One of my favorite pieces of FNAF merchandise that I have ever owned. That is awesome. Also, we have the first volume of the Frazbear Frights graphic novel collection, some mystery minis, some Funko Pops, the Security Breach Files book, with some more Funko Pops and also some DDLC little cutout figurine things I got from the physical release. The Vanny and Vanessa statue in front of some more Funko Pops and also mystery minis. Over here you have the collection of the three graphic novels for the Charlie trilogy, along with all of the twisted Funko Pops. Some vintage Chuck E. Cheese mugs as well. Very tiny, but they're also really, really cool. As you can see, this one's from 1994. And that one's, I think it says 1988. So very cool. You've got the the Franco Giant Freddy plushie stuffed in front of the original Charlie trilogy books. The survival guidebook. Right in front of that is the broken Rockstar Foxy Pop. As you can see, his ears have come off. Lefty, some more DDLC figures. The Freddy and Vanny and Gregory statue. Meteor Melody Pops. And over here, we have the Freddy Files books. In front of, again, more mystery minis, the sister location pops, and also some Bendy figures that I got at GameStop one time. At the very bottom, we have the how to draw FNAF book and also the FNAF coloring book in front of some minis and also some bendy pops of Sammy and dead Boris. The final spot on this shelf again has some more mystery minis, the jump scare Freddy board game, the unofficial guidebook, the big book of FNAF, a random Captain Foxy figure, and also the two in one, no three in one, sorry, of the Fazbear Frights collection book. Moving to the side of this shelf, we actually have the first ever Johnny Blocks fan art that my IRL friend drew for me. We have the Nightmare Freddy Freddy and Bonnie Funko Christmas tags. Freddy Fazbear pizza, like, pizza making cooking kit. We have an Ari figure. I know a lot of people in the videos are like, what the hell's that? This is an Ari statue. Then we have the full collection of the Glamrock. I think it's just toys who made these, the craftables. Moving down, we have the Something Wild deck, sealed. And then pop keychains of Orville, Tie-Dye Freddy, and Tie-Dye Bonnie, along with some random mystery minis that, again, didn't fit anywhere. Continuing out this way, we have the Popsies of Freddy, Golden Freddy, and Foxy. The Creator Inc. FNAF 1 and Security Breach Lights, with some bendy figures, the Rockstar Freddy Pop from the something wild thing, pint size hero, Bonnie keychain. Then we have a framed print of the FNAF AR Thanksgiving poster. 
some more DLC stuff in front of the Chow. These FNAF AR posters are still up of the Flamethrower Endo, Magma, not Magma, Sizzling Chica, what, goddamn, what's her name? Scorching Chica, Broiler Baby, Flaming Springtrap, Toxic uh, Springtrap, and then the Arcane Mayhem dudes. Over here, this is brand new. This is the U2's Pyramid. On my U2's, as you can see, we got the FNAF gang down here. I got a bunch of them, and there's still more on the way, which is crazy. Got some Omogus dudes here as well. The Creator Ink pins. No, the patches. The Squishmies of Vanny and Glamrock Freddy. These are actually the littlest pet shop figures that my friend actually painted over to look like FNAF characters, which I thought was just super, super amazing. This is actually a record, a vintage record from uh, 1981 of the Rock of Fire Explosion singing some Beatles songs, birthday, and also uh, heartaches. Moving on to the Funko Pop Pyramid. These are all of my boxed Funko Pops of FNAF. Got a whole bunch of them. Not all of them though, though it is my mission to get all of them in their boxes. Showtime Daco plushie. A Mogus, Apit Ryan, another Mogus, another Showtime Daco plushie that Daco actually sent me. And now we move on to the setup, as you can see him. Uh, but yeah, this is the setup. This is where all of the Johnny Blocks videos are made. I know a lot of people ask about like PC specs and cameras and microphones and stuff like that. I don't know a whole lot. I know for a fact though, this is the Shure SM7B. I'm pretty sure you see like every YouTuber and podcaster use it. It's fantastic, very expensive, but I very much recommend it. I forget who made this arm, but a microphone arm is ideal so we can swing it back and forth. You know, if I'm recording a video, I bring it in front of me. When I'm not, I just put it off to the side so it's not in front of my face. As you can see, I got a whole bunch of figures lining the monitors down below. Some Funko Pops, some uh, Pokemon Quest, another Ari figure, the Monica figure that just came in the other day, and a bunch of Pokemon Pops, and also Sonic Lay Hedgehog. I've been using the same camera for a very long time. I know it doesn't look the best. I need to upgrade. Got the mouse pad, another Ari thing. Lay PC. Once again, I have absolutely no, no goddamn clue if this is good or not. I've been using it for years. It served me well. Also, yes, I know that's a massive fire hazard. Don't don't look over there. I haven't died yet. My house is not burned down yet. Got a plush trap poster who's always looking down at me, making sure I'm getting work done. Oculus Rift S headset. We got my calendar over here, which usually has videos that I need to film. Oh, looks like I need to get something done today. Oh, would you look at that? It's just subscribing to me on YouTube. Also, a FNAF Hero Magnet is over there. Look at that. The boy is lined up. Moving on to this shelf. This is a pretty new shelf. Over here, you can see we've got some plushies in some plushie display boxes, mainly the tie-dyes and also Spring Bonnie and the two chocolate plushies. All of the figures from the Funko Advent Calendar. Also some um, McFarlane 8-bit. I think it was McFarlane who made these figures. A Freddy. Uh, Balloon Boy, who uh, was exclusive to some store. I can't remember exactly which one. Chica, and also some more vintage Chuck E. Cheese stuff. These figures are from 1983, and this one's from 1985. Going down a row, we got some more plushies and some McFarlane sets. Got a sealed Hero World uh, Nightmare Foxy and Freddy figures. Shamrock Freddy, Livewire Freddy, and Frostbear in front of some empty boxes of pizzas and minis. Down here, we got some miscellaneous stuff. L Chip, Orville, they're just hanging out. Big Patch figure, Lefty figure, uh, and back there, that is a sealed collection of the three Charlie trilogy books. Moving on to the shelf right next to it, we got a bunch more McFarlane sets, as well as the Blacklight plushies right up there. Going down, some smaller McFarlane sets in front of all the spring colorway plushies. Look at those. Some miscellaneous Bendy plushies and also the Blacklight Glamrock Freddy plush. That's the only Blacklight Security Breach plush I have. And then we have the sealed boxes of Tie-Dye, Freddy, Bonnie, Springtrap, Chica, and Foxy. Up here, we can't gloss over them. I have the first five Fazbear Frights books all lined up in front of the FNAF 1 figures, the Slime, and also the Sanshi tokens. Freddy right there and Bonnie over on this side. Turning the corner, we have the group poster of FNAF. As you can see, everyone's there. As you can see, the Jumbo Vanny plushie in the display box, Jumbo Lefty with the uh, Steel Wool Pride plushie. I love him. Jumbo Freddy, Jumbo Vanny, Spring Colorway variant. Got a whole bunch of minis lined up in front of some pins. As you can see, FNAF AR, 
security breach, the GameStop uh, pizza sim pins. And back to mystery minis, we also have the tie-dye spring trap figure and also the toxic spring trap figure. Going down here, we got some more tie-dye stuff, some more pins, some more arcade mayhem stuff. These are the uh, medium size slash jumbo tie-dye Freddy and Foxies. As you can see, more pins, more pops, more Arcane Mayhem. The Creator Inc. Faz tokens, and also the uh, FNAF Yara Arcane Mayhem plushies. Some more minis, the inverted plushies. And then sealed boxes of all of the arcade and also FNAF AR figures. Over on this wall, this is brand new. These are my framed uh, autographs of the Streamily event. Cameron for Monty. Heather Masters for Glamrock Chica and Vanessa. Marta for Vanny, Roxanne, Gregory, and also lovely Andy Field down here with exotic butters. And atop these frames are the Hex trading cards, Freddy Bonnie Chica, Foxy, Fred Bear, Spring Bonnie. We're getting pretty close to being done. We just have these areas left. Let's start over here. We got some miscellaneous plushies over on this chair. Liberty Chica, Glamrock Freddy, who I think, yeah, this is the normal material. Over there is the fuzzy one. And also a Good Stuff Chica. These are the rest of the Fazbear Fright books, as well as the Books A Million exclusive cover for the Puppet Carver. Chica token, as well as Foxy over here. The Security Breach figures and the Security Breach slime. Framed picture of FNAF AR anniversary image. Look at that. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Hex plushies in some display cases. As you can see, Sister Location plushies, as well as Nightmare Foxy, my boy. Curse of Dreadbear figures, a bunch of mystery minis, the Security Breach plushies, uh, and also the FNAF AR Chocolate and Easter Bonnie figures. More mystery minis going down, we got the Curse of Dreadbear plushies, as well as the Tie-Dye figures. And once again, some more mystery minis, and then the sealed boxes of all of the Curse of Dreadbear figures. Moving on to the shelf, we've got the rest of the Hex plushies, the rest of the Sister Location plushies, Security Puppet, Phantom Balloon Boy, the Glow in the Dark uh, Pizza Sim figures, as well as a whole bunch of mystery minis, the Pizza Sim plushies in front of Pig Patch, uh, Springtrap, Ballora, Lefty, once again, more mystery minis. Then we've got the five Blake the Badger plushies. Twitter was angry at me for this one, but I don't care. I love them. And also some other sealed action figures, Golden Freddy, Funtime Foxy, Funtime Foxy, and also Easter Bonnie. We got the Trends poster of Security Breach, and up here is the final shelf. Mango plushie, Cupcake, Toy Freddy, the Vanny U2's plushie, Puppet, Toy Chica, and Funtime Foxy. I just realized I skipped this section. As you can see, we got the box for the FNAF Clue, the GameStop exclusive FNAF Monopoly, Nightmare Puffs, the Advent Calendar, the Night of Frights game, which actually just came in today. I need to do a video on that. Survive Till 6 a.m. game, the sealed um, tie-dye t-shirt from Funko, and also the sealed box of Fazbear Fright books. Over here, I also have a whole bunch of lanyards, Crater Inc., uh, Security Breach, and also the Game Awards and the FNAF AOR lanyard. But that's gonna do it. I'm out of breath. This has been a long video. As you can see, a whole bunch of new additions to the office, but once again, I'm really happy with it. I'm proud of the collection I have. It might not be as impressive as some other YouTubers, but, I mean, do they have... The, the pop goes plushy on their computer. No, I don't freaking think so. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you next year in case The Office once again gets another drastic update.